everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I got a ton of stuff in front of me on my desk because this um, is something that we are doing quarterly. We, I mean Paula, Amanda and myself because it has been requested in the past and people ask when are we doing it again. This little, little video here, this tiny little video is all of the makeup that I am currently panning and it's a lot. Let me tell you, it is a lot. I have it all spread out on my desk. I had to like take some things off my desk just to fit it so that I could put it in categories for you so it wasn't a complete hot mess like it has been in the past. But um, before I get started, of course, I'm going to have Amanda and Paula listed down below. Of course, you got to go check them out and see all of the stuff that they are currently panning as far as makeup. We will be doing the beauty products in a few days. I don't have my computer up in front of me because it wouldn't fit on my desk. So I can't even tell you what day it is, but it's, I think it's like a week or less from now. So um, yeah, be on the lookout for that if you are interested in seeing all of the beauty products that I am painting. All right. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start this because uh, it's a lot. It is, seeing it all in front of me, I'll tell you right now, it's overwhelming. So I'm going to start with the nails because I do consider nail polish makeup because it is a cosmetic that changes the color of things so um, and changes the appearance, so so I consider it makeup. So I'm going to start with my nail polish. All of the nail polishes that I am currently working on. So let me bring these over here because there's a lot and I don't want to break anything because glass for one and um, it's nail polish. It's going to make a mess. All right, here we go. This is Sinful Colors Cosmos. I'm, I'm not going to go through all of them. This is PS2 Old Made. This one's from Essence. It's a topper that I use frequently. I'm not even going to look at the name. Otherwise, this video is going to be insanely long and there goes a dog hair in front of me. I was not trying to cross my eyes. Um, this is a Del Sol polish. Um, a Maybelline polish. This one, I believe, is Colorworks. It was from one of those cheapy gift set kits that I had gotten like a hundred years ago. A Sally Hansen glitter topper. An OPI rapid dry top coat. This is a Revlon pink polish. And a Revlon red polish. And then just because it was all my nail stuff, I do have the Jessica rapid dry drops. They are technically maybe not um, makeup, but it was all my nail stuff together. So now we get into the whole face thing and there's a lot. I'm gonna go through it as quickly as possible. My Catrice Prime and Fine Keep Me Matte Primer. That is the only primer, only face primer that I am working on right now. And I intend to keep it that way. Until this one is done, I don't wanna put another primer in. Foundation, I've got a few. Um, the first one is the e.l.f. Mineral Foundation. I still have not even opened it because, well, I've been using everything else. And then I've got these three. Um, the L.A. Girl Pro Matte. This is for oily skin girls. And the Maybelline Fit Me. These are actually, um, I do still have some in each of these, but these are franken together in this. So I do still have a little bit of foundation in here and it was requested that next time I franken them that I film it. So I will be doing that as soon as this is done. I will be frankening with my tea tree and, um, and going from there. So look for that in a future Franken Friday. I have a color corrector from Ulta that I am working on in lavender and my concealer from Wet n Wild. Not a whole lot in that category either, and, um, and I like it that way. All right, powders. I have three powders, Tinted Mineral Veil, that um, I really have not been using a ton just because I don't have like my summer color yet. That will get a ton of use once I start getting a lot of color. Um, same with the Color Max. This is the phot Photochromatic Press Powder. My dog hair is just floating everywhere today. Um, that one and the one that I've been using most often is the Ulta Finishing Powder in Light to Medium. That is one I probably will repurchase. 
All right, let's scoot that out of the way. Um, setting spray. This is the only setting spray that I have in a project right now, and I will not put another one in a project until this one is very close to being done. And it's not there yet. All right, um, just let's see. I'm going to do blush and bronzer together because I have a duo. Um, let's start with the blush. This is Elf Peachy Keen. Bare Minerals Riches. I still have not even touched that one. And of course, my Franken blush that I am working on. I do have a blush in this duo. It is a Franken blush, and I do have a Franken bronzer in here as well. And the other half of that Franken bronzer is right here. It was originally Bare Minerals bare minerals warmth which was way too dark and way too orange for me so um they got frankened all right highlighters very minimal on highlighters right now um unfortunately there was one that uh i didn't finish but is no longer in a project so you won't be seeing that one right now i just have like cream liquid highlighters becca shimmering skin perfector in champagne pop and the elf shimmer palette that i am working on so let me get those pushed out of the way it's just a lot of stuff um let's push the polish out of the way because you know th there's just, just stuff everywhere let me get the lip stuff out of the way because it's right here i only have two lipsticks in projects right now and that is this potted one or yeah from jane iredale that was from the sampler palette and this little lipstick sample from Avon. Those are the only two lipsticks I have in right now. But I got a lot of lip gloss, a lot of lip gloss, a lot of lip balm, and some lip pencils. So I am going to bring all of those over here. It's a lot. All right, starting with the lip balm, the Buxom Plumping in Big O. A Blistex Cherry Medicated Berry, actually not cherry. Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker Fix. This is the Franken that was supposed to be filmed and got cut off. And uh, it's I still have some left. And when uh, that is gone, I will be Frankening another one because I really enjoy it. Uh, Avon, is it Do Kiss? and the Neutrogena Lip Moisturizer. Those are my lip balms that I am working on currently. And my lip pencils, I have a few here. The Lip Lock Pencil, it's basically a clear lip pencil. The one that I'm currently wearing, which is the Avon Big Color Pencil in Sherry. This one is, I don't know if it's technically a pencil or what, it is Tristique mini lip glaze Paris pink I haven't really I think I've used that once buxom scandalous and the elf natural so those are my lip balms and pencils now we get into the gloss I have four Tarte glosses that I am working on and let's see how many is this eight eight buxom glosses. I'm pulling them out so that you can see my insanity. Eight buxom glosses. That's a lot of lip gloss, folks. I only got two lips, and I don't even have, like, full lips. They're pretty, eh. So, but I do um, reapply frequently because I do not like my lips to be dry. Like, right now, I only have the lip pencil on, and I'm dying because I really want to put a lip gloss on but this color is hard to put a gloss on because it'll slide. So, you know, got to choose your battles here. All right, brow products, very minimal, and I like it. This is Bare Minerals Dark Blonde Medium Brown Brow Powder and the Benefit Gimme Brow Number 3. And I have three eye primers that I'm working on because I'm nuts. This is Elf Pearl. I would so not repurchase this one. Um, the Bare Minerals Prime Time, which actually got frankened into something that you will see in a minute, but um, it still exists, so it still counts towards this. And the Urban Decay Eyeshadow, Prime, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's the original. 
which I can't wait to get to that one because I do really like that one. All right, moving right along. I'm, I'm doing this as quickly as possible so this doesn't last forever. Um, I have two mascaras that I'm currently working on, Essence Lash Princess. Both of them are Essence Lash Princess. This one is the Volume Mascara, and this one is my absolute favorite, the Sculpted Volume Mascara. And this is the one I'm actually using right now. So, All right, let's get into eyeliners. I got a lot of eyeliners, and my phone is ringing, but it's across the room, so it's going to have to wait. Um, I have three eyeliners from ColourPop. It's the BFF cream gel liners, Electric Daisy, Piggy Bank, and Crossed. I have the soon-to-be-extinct Elf Mineral Eyeliner in Metallic Purple, the Mali Evercolor, yes, Evercolor Automatic Eyeliner in Onyx. That's a lot of, a lot of words and kind of a tongue twister. This is a brown gel liner from the Sephora Colorista palette. And last but certainly not least for my eyeliners, um, both of these are Starlux Gem Pencils. The little guy right here is an amethyst, and the big one is Ultra Olive. So, there's that. And you know, I always save the best for last, at least what I consider the best, because I am, I'm, I'm like an addict, and this is my crack. All of the eyeshadows that I am working on right now. And I'm trying to drop them. I saved it. It hit my lap. I'm good. Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy lives on. Yeah. Um, this is the one that has the Bare Minerals Prime Time Eye Primer in it. It is an eyeshadow pigment from <sighs> Coastal Sense. Had to think about that one for a second. And I created my own little DIY cream eyeshadow. I've had people request me to film doing this, but I will not do anything with that, like like that until this one is done or close to being done. Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I am working on the entire thing. And let's get into, we'll do the Magnetics last. The Coastal Sense 88 Palette. Um, the mirror is uncovered, so I'm gonna try not to blind you. I'm pretty much working from the pinks over. Not every single one, but the majority of them, they have dots next to them. The majority of those, if it's, um, if you can see it, I was holding it kind of low. So basically from here over, I'm working on most of those. Sometimes I forget to hold it up too high because, you know, it's heavy. All right, let's get into the magnetic palettes. Um, I have multiple magnetic palettes because... I have different things in different projects, and I like to keep them as organized as possible. So I have these in here, um, Elf, Coastal Scents, Sephora Colorista. This one is in my current makeup basket, and I don't want to get them confused. Coastal Scents, Coastal Scents, Coastal Scents, Glamour Doll Eyes, Sephora Colorista. These two are Elf. This is BH Cosmetics, Bub's Beauty B. Um, Alter Ego, Temptress Palette, Smashbox Duo, Coastal Scents, and these three are Profusion Eyes Palette, and this is from Real Her Be Your Own Beauty. I've got two more Coastal Scents here, and um, this one is Profusion Eyes. Had to think about it. This one is still exists. It is Frankened and um, I don't think I'm done the Franken yet. I might be. I'll have to double check that one. Um, let's see. From Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. This is the other part of the Smashbox duo. These, well this one's empty, but these two are from the Jane Iredale and these are from Sephora Colorista. And the last magnetic palette in the last of the makeup that, unless I missed something, which hopefully I didn't, this is all of my eyeshadows. These are the A to Z eyeshadows, and um, I'm not even going to go through them. There's just too many. You guys can watch the A to Z updates or whatever, and you, a lot of you probably already have. But yeah, suffice it to say, this is all um, A to Z except for what's in my current makeup basket which I do have quite a few things in there that's a lot 
I did not count how many of each. I, like, I don't, I don't want to know the number of eyeshadows that I'm currently working on right now. I mean, just looking at the, the number, like the amount in front of me is bad enough to actually put a number to that would probably blow my mind right now. And it would probably be a little overwhelming and discouraging. So I'm not going to look at it from that vantage point because mm -mm, no, I I'd, I'd need encouragement and, um, you know, not, not craziness and stress and anxiety. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. And this is the way to do it. All right. Hopefully, hopefully some of these will get done before the two projects that I'm starting in June. So um, we will be doing this quarterly. So look for the next one in three months if this is something that interests you. And again, um, within the next week, we will have the beauty version of this. Hopefully some of these will not be in the next quarterly update. That would be really nice, but there will be some things missing and there's gonna be some new things for that one. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice, so I'm going to wrap this up. Definitely go check out Paula and Amanda. They're going to be listed down below. Go show them some love. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.